All right. Usually when bones are found in a parking lot, it's a mob guy who maybe talked too much. But under this car park in Leicester, England, was someone who hadn't talked in a long time. Skeletal remains of the 15th century English monarch King Richard III. Not much of a memorial for a fallen ruler, plus parking fees, astronomical. R.I.P. Dickie 3. And one thing about being buried in a parking lot, though, keeps the bones clean. And if Richard has been sleeping with the fishes, he'd likely be covered in algae. Something that might have restored him to power, or more likely made him a source of power. What? That's right. Scientists in Germany have found a way to power an entire building using algae. It involves glass panels, a bioreactor, photosynthesis. And, like, I'm not David Suzuki, but if this catches on, I can just hear parents around the world saying, Who left these lights on? I'm not made of algae. Who left these lights on? Do you think algae grows on trees? But even if the lights are on, they can't see you if you're invisible. Researchers at the University of Toronto have created an invisibility cloak. Here's how. By surrounding an object with a ring of small antennas, they're able to make items disappear from microwave and radio wave detectors. So far, this only makes things invisible to radar, but the possibilities have excited scientists, military strategists, fans of Harry Potter's, members of the Klingon Empire, and people like me who think octopus are insanely cool. Science can do a lot of things that we used to think was only possible in the movies, but it can't raise the dead. That's still just for zombie flicks. But science can bring back the dead in other ways. This year, scientists discovered an extinct prehistoric lizard the size of a dog. No, no, I mean like a real dog. And what makes this species so special? Its name, Barbara Turex Morrisoni, named for him. It's now official. Jim Morrison is the Lizard King. And it was science that found a way to make him internal because as he said himself, 